Hey, this is Phil from Explosive Films and I'm back with an After Effects tutorial. Yeah, I will be doing some After Effects tutorials to show you guys how to operate with this program. And if you want to see more, you have to subscribe. Please. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the first thing I want to show you is how to color correct properly because this is the um, most definite problem people have with the V footage it's that um, this footage is often very pale and yeah it just doesn't look good so we want to change that and we want to create um, a kind of Hollywood look using just this wonderful product called Adobe After Effects and I am using the 6.5 version right now. Yeah, I know the version from Stone Age. But this is probably a positive thing because from 6.5 uh, and higher, you can do this. So you will definitely not have problems doing this uh, with CS4. <laughs> All right, so I want to just get my footage. I'll use some footage from my newest movie and then I want to create a new adjustment layer new adjustment layer oh by the way you can see I'm working with the German version of After Effects but I will tell you um, the names of the effects and so on so you could you can still uh, follow along so okay onto this adjustment layer I will put some effects so the first uh, effect I will use is curves. You can also get these the effects from here. You just type curves and it will appear right there. And the effects and presets window. So um, we want to get some contrast in the scene at first because as you can see the scene doesn't have much contrast at all. So we just boost the black or the no the uh, lighter values up and boost the black or uh, darker values down and now we have a kind of an S curve and that's what high quality footage needs to look like the RGB channel because we want to have a good S curve to have some contrast in there um, as you can see this already looks much better because we have much more contrast and this picture looks much more interesting the next uh, effect we want to put on there is levels. Levels is an effect that uh, works with the color channels of the video. So we could get, for example, for a darker scene, get the blue channel and boost this up a bit. then we get the red channel and get this down now the greens coming through so we putting this down also maybe not that much blue a bit more and we could even go to the RGB channel and get some more contrast in there a bit darker so probably what you can see now if you want to have uh, a darker scene you probably want to have uh, the scene less saturated so you we get the nice effect called tint I uh, will get myself the German equivalent for that one and tint is an effect like the name says um, tints the video with the colors you choose here so black and white is good because we would just want to desaturate it so we put this like 30 percent maybe okay let's say 40 all right so we probably want to put this before the levels adjustment and now you can see the colors are really coming through because we don't have to we, we don't have that much of um, saturation in this and now we can even duplicate the um, tint here and deserate it 
desaturate it even more, a bit like that. Let's say 25%. Okay, now you can see this looks really good. It's kind of an evening look. And if we um, look at the difference, look at that. This is the scene before and this after the color correction. So this looks really nice. And what I like to do at this point is um, I think I'm going to use this again for my next project or for my next scene even of the same movie. So what I like to do is uh, mock them all and save them as an animation preset. So I go in here animation, save animation preset and let's call this, I don't know, awesome dark look. And now, if we now kill this again and get ourselves a new adjustment layer with nothing on there, and now get our, into our animation and um, animation presets here, there we have our awesome dark look. Put this on here, boom ready to go. So, um, now you of course can do a lot of things with this. You can do the, uh, the opposite thing and just bright it up instead of darkening it. So I will kill the last tint and uh, get the blue out of there. Even less blue. Get the red back. More red. Maybe get some green in there. There we go. So uh, what I like to do in the end is maybe when it fits, you can put a glow in there. Stylize glow. And this is certainly too much. But a bit of a glow doesn't hurt anyone. So as you can see, this looks like the sun is really falling into the scene. And... Um, you see, this is a nice effect that can in enhance your scene too. Sometimes it fits, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so now I can show you what this adjustment layer is actually for because you probably think, why don't, didn't you put these effects on this layer? Well, if this is too much for me and this is too intense color correction, you can just put the opacity of it down let's say 60% and as you can see it's still color corrected and we have some contrast and decent color correction in there but not too much so you can just uh, save yourself some presets for example um, the dark look and now it's not that harsh Okay, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it and will use this technique in your next project maybe. And also, I hope that you would like to see more of these After Effects tutorials from me. So just let me know by comment. Or please subscribe. Please. So if there are more subscriptions, I will make more tutorials. Okay, so... I will see you next time. This is Phil from Explosive Films, signing out.